and faith kids how are you glad that you're tuned in that you are watching remember comment in those sections let me know that you are tuned in that you're watching uh children's ministry i miss you i miss you so we're going to get ready to get into the word on today you know what we're going to be doing get your bibles get your tablets get your phones whatever you have your bible on and so let's get into the word of god and we're going to be in second corinthians on this day and as you're getting your bibles i will pray heavenly father we come just to thank you again for this day we thank you god that you are lord over our lives we thank you for this opportunity that we can learn from you god that your holy spirit is leading god and in direct us in this time that we will grow father I pray for your children as they're tuned in as they're listening god that they're listening to hear your voice oh god through me lord that you're speaking to them god and giving them revelational truths for their lives and father we thank you in advance for all that shall be accomplished and all that shall be done god knowing that your word will not return unto you void but it shall accomplish those things for which you sent it to do in your son jesus name we pray amen all right faith kids you should be there in in second corinthians chapter eight and our memory verse for this week is going to be in second corinthians and it's going to be verse number 12 so let's start there with verse number 12 in our memory verse and it reads whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly and give according to what you have, not what you don't have. So this is saying a lot in this verse. And as you just read it along with me, faith kids, think about what is it saying? Let the Holy Spirit talk to you, speak to you right now on what this verse is saying to you and we'll do a quick review on last week we talked about what does god like faith kids what does god like he loves a cheerful giver so we talked about being a cheerful giver that when we're giving up our time our talents when we're giving up our money to god to uh for the kingdom that he wants us to give happily cheerful don't be mad because we're giving don't give be upset so it's all about our attitude when we give just like we do not want people who give us things grudgingly right just like oh i'm gonna give it to you but i don't want to no that's not a good thing right faith kids so even with god when we're giving to him when we're giving our tithes and our offerings we want to give it cheerfully knowing that god is our god and he's our lord and he does all for us so we're given to show that we love him that we trust him so that's why we're giving and we want to be a cheerful giver so on this week in this verse it's it's telling us that when you're giving that what how are you supposed to be given in this way again it tells us read verse 12 again and our memory verse and of course this is your first for the week faith kids focus on it read over during the week it says that we're to be eagerly uh give eagerly we are to be with willingness we ought to be willing our willingness to give and of course it goes back to our our, our attitude our uh motive in giving and why we're giving so it tells us in this verse whatever you give is acceptable so whatever you give to god it's acceptable so if you give it eagerly and give according to what you have and not according to what you don't have and so that is going to be our focus in today's topic that when we're giving my gift matters that's what we're going to talk about today say it with me faith kids my gift matters your gift matters to god no matter what it is no matter how big so a lot of times we think oh i got to give so much and i can no, know no matter what it is how big how small or whatever if we're giving it eagerly or willingly with the right motive with the mi right mindset that we're giving because we're pleasing god because he loves us because he says give and because it helps when we give to uh, the church or when we give to others it helps them so that's how we are to give and just like uh the story tells us in mark about the widow woman who gave her last two 
pennies. Now, there was other people who was giving numerous amounts of money, but they were just giving because they had it. And it wasn't because they was giving it, oh, I have this and I want to give it to God. No, they were just giving it because, okay, well, you know, since I got this to say that, oh, I'm giving it. So look at me, how much I'm giving. But this lady, the widow woman, she gave all that she had two pennies. And you might think, oh, that was nothing. No, it was all that she had. It was a lot to her. So you want to know that when you're giving fake kids, you give to, to God. And it doesn't matter how big her small or how small, but your gift matters to the Lord and it matters on how we give. So let's go into our, continuing our, our scriptures in second Corinthians. Let's back up to verse number three. And it reads, for I can testify that they gave not only what they could afford, but far more. And they added, and they did it of their own free will. So Paul is talking to the church in Corinthians and that they were giving, and he was saying, you were giving generously. And he wants them to go back doing that. So they begged us again and again for the privilege of sharing in the gift for the believers in Jerusalem. They even did more than we had hoped for, for their first action was to give to give themselves to the Lord and to us, just as God wanted them to do. So he's, they're talking about the church is giving and they just, you know, all coming together. They're giving up their time. They're giving their money. They're giving up all their, their resources. In that time, you know, they had cattle. They had, you know, all the agricultural things. So they're giving all of these things to help. In verse number um, six, it says, so we have urged Titus who encouraged your giving in the first place to return to you and encourage you to finish this ministry of giving. So evidently they had stopped. They were, they did all of this and they were giving and then they stopped. But you always want to continue to give, always be willing and ready to give. So he's urging them. He's not, you know, he's not forcing them or commanding them, but he's like, okay, why did y'all stop? You remember this was what you were doing. So he says, give. And since you excelled in so many ways in your faith, your, your gift, is, gift speaks, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, and your love from us. I want you to excel also in the gracious act of giving. So he wanted them to, to look at giving, excel, you know, they're doing everything, excel in your giving. So fake kids, excel in your giving. Think about, um, as we're talking about your gift, your gift matters. It doesn't, you know, how big or how small your gift matters to God. Think about when you get that happy meal or you used to get that happy meal, whichever one, you know, they give that little toy in the happy meal. I know that you were like happy, just excited. Why do you think they call it a happy meal? You were excited to get that little toy. It wasn't about how much it cost or what it was. It was just about, I'm getting something. I'm getting this toy in my meal. That's how it is with God. It's not about how much that you're giving just because you say, I got it and I'm going to give this. And so, no, it's about how we give. Remember, we want to be cheerful, a cheerful giver. So he wants us to give it, not just say, oh, I'm going to give it a lot because I got it. Yeah, if you have it, then give it. But also you're giving it, not just to say, oh, I gave a whole lot. No, you're giving it because God, I'm giving it all that I have to you, no matter what that amount is, no matter if it's a little bit, no matter if it's real big, big kids, we give to God because look, he gave to us. He, you know, he's our God and it expresses how we love him, expresses how he, we trust him. And also as Pastor Stan is teaching, there's a special blessing fake kids that when we give to the kingdom of God, God blesses us tremendously. There is just a special blessing just because we give unto God. And I mean, it is an awesome thing, fake kids. Not only we're already blessed because he says he's came, Jesus came that we have life abundantly. Jesus came and down in the other scripture, it tells us that Jesus was rich, but he became poor so that through his poverty, we can become rich. So since we have become rich because of what Jesus did, and then we're giving 
to God. And then he says, I give you a special blessing on top of that. It is just awesome, right? Faith kids, I know that you, when you begin to give to the Lord, when you begin to tithe and sow, and remember we talked about tithe as a God, but God says, as you purpose in your heart, give whatever that is, how big or small, long as we know that we're giving it unto the Lord. Right, faith kids? That we're giving unto the Lord. And so let's continue in verse eight. I am not commanding you to do this, but I am testing now genuine. Your love is by comparing it with the eagerness of the other churches you know the generous grace of our lord jesus christ though he was rich yet for our sakes we talked about that he became poor so that by his poverty we he made us to be rich again faith kids jesus was rich he became poverty just for us so that we can become rich and then we we give back to give unto the Lord. So faith is remember your gift matters to God. No matter how big, no matter how small, how in between. We're giving cheerfully and long as we give, that's all. And when we do that, we receive such great blessings from God. So faith kids, hope you understand the message on today. Remember, go through your memory verse on this week, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse number 12. Read it throughout the week. Allow that Holy Spirit to lead you and bring revelation of truth to what that verse means to you. Because you know, God speaks to you, fake kids. And because you are his sheep, you are his children, you hear his voice, fake kids. All right, I will see you, will not see you, but on next week, tune in on next week and we'll be continue talking about this. I hope you have a blessed week. And before we go, faith kids, may the Lord's face shine upon you. May he, his countenance towards you, God, and towards you and give you peace. See you on next week, faith kids. Bye.